Hey there, my name is Brandon Howe, and welcome to the first episode of my Making a Game series. In this series, I'm going to be going through the process of making a game from start to finish using the Unity Game Engine. Woo! Now, for the few people who watch my videos, so far all I've really made up to this point have been game progress videos and animations and those sort of things, but now I want to try dipping my toes in some new waters and showing people how games are made. That sort of thing. Now, I've been a game developer for several years, but I'm not really a professional or anything like that. Uh, about half a year ago, I released my first big game, Washed Up Wizard, and I'm currently working on my next big game, Cyberspace, but this whole thing will be very experimental anyway. So let's get started, shall we? So how I want to go about making this is I don't have anything planned at the moment. I want to actually go through the planning process as well, so you guys can also see not just making the game, but how the planning is done, and then also how it changes, how it evolves, that sort of thing. I want to keep at least this my first attempt at doing this very, very small in scope, so it's not going to look good art-wise, probably. Um, I'm hoping to do a 3D game as opposed to a 2D game. Usually if you're wanting to start small, it'd be recommended that you do a 2D game, but personally, I have a lot more experience with doing 3D stuff. Um, for some 3D stuff, I'm going to be using Blender, and I have a lot of experience in this, and I'm not good at drawing, and if I were to be drawing anything, it'd be with a mouse, so that's not going to be turning out well. Um, so, how I want to start off planning to, I guess, kickstart ideas, is I want to sort of do this how a game jam is done, sort of, which is having a theme generated for me, then having to make a game that's based around a word or phrase or something like that. So I found this game generate game jam theme generator online. I'm going to click this a few times and we're going to have a th our theme that we're going to go for. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoop. I don't know. <laughs> so much for that. Okay. Yep. Endless war. Let's, try and go with this i suppose so okay i'm gonna cut away for just a second while i just think about this so i'm not just i'm humming and hawing and i'll come back when i have some ideas planned out and i'm back so i've done some planning here i've got some ideas for this possible theme so i've got an endless runner temple run style where you're dodging enemies and hazards and then maybe I'd style it to look like a war or something, like a medieval times war type thing. Uh, an Endless Runner is like a side-scroller, so like a 2.5D platformer. Or I could go 2D after all, but yeah. Um, a top-down view game thing where you're controlling an army of cubes, uh, and you have to get to the end with at least one alive. So you'd like... You move them as like this one squadron thing, but then there's hazards that'll like slowly pick them off one by one and you just have to get the, to the end with at least one of them alive or maybe a certain percentage or maybe you could get like there'd be like a star system where you get like if you get all of them back or if you get all of them to the end you get three stars if you only get like half you get two stars and something like that um making a space evaders or galaga style game so endless war could be like so with all of these i was kind of actually with all of these except this one i was mainly thinking first thing that came to my mind was medieval medieval times war sort of thing but this one it could be like an alien war in space between two different species of aliens um and then this one being a tower defense that could fit like it could be an endless thing it could fit the theme and then also a top-down shooter where you're protecting some kind of base now of all of these i think the one that i'm actually going to choose is this space invaders and in, or galaga style thing um, because in terms of scope, I think it'll just be the easiest to try and make. There are some of these, like the tower defense, just with all the complex stuff that would be involved in making it. Um, I think it'd be better for at least this first time going through this series to stick with something very, very simple. Um, in fact, art wise, it might just stick as cubes and all that. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so I think we're gonna go with this. It'll be the winner theme. I'm just gonna put it at the 
bottom and then go like this. So now we can try to think more specific about this. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up good old MS Paint, just draw something real quick. Uh, so we have this square that represents the game screen or whatever. So something Space Invaders like, you have your little player ship here and then they can move left and right. Uh, and then they can shoot up, pew pew. And then we can have, so Galaga like having, well, without all the fancy patterns, just enemies coming in. I'm gonna make this enemy a frowny face in a box. Fantastic. And the enemies will come in in waves or in like an endless style thing. And then we can make them ramp up in difficulty. Uh, and then maybe the enemies can like move left and right and then shoot. We can do all that sort of complex AI. So even though this specific idea might seem like the simplest of the six, there still can be a lot of complexity. We can take it in all sorts of directions. Um, yeah, there's a lot of creativity to be had. And even art style, we can make it like a human military ship versus aliens, or it could be, it could be an alien ship versus like human military stuff. Maybe this is, it, it's trying to escape Earth or something like that. Uh, or fitting with the war thing, it could be a like a war between two different types of aliens and you're fighting your way through an army, that sort of thing. Uh, and then perhaps we could also have like some sometimes good power-up things. I'm going to make that a smiley face. They come in and then you can grab them and then you it could be like a health pack or you could get a uh, better gun temporarily or a shield, that sort of thing. Um... And speaking of which, health-wise, there are multiple paths we could take with how we want to tackle that. We could have, like, a health bar on the screen that, like, is filled or whatever. And every time you get shot, it, like, goes down. <laughs> or we could have, well, where you have, like, hearts. That is totally a heart. Eh. Bam. And then every time you get hit, you, like, lose a heart. Or you could have lives, or you could have a shield, then when you get hit, you lose the shield, and then when you hit, get hit again, then you die. Depending on how long or hard the levels are, you could have it just one hit, death, restart the level, or you could be able to respawn. There's choice in that. You could be super complex and have like a difficulty setting that <laughs> does all this. Uh, you could even we could make these levels, and then you could go out and make, make some super complex level select. You could make it like Candy Crush system of a level select where it goes through kind of like a path and then maybe it's stars or maybe you have like a score system and depending on how much how large of a score you get you get a certain amount of stars that sort of thing and then you could even have bosses for all we know you could have something that comes in that spawns enemies basically with simple ideas there never underestimate how I don't know, complex, you can make it, I guess. And furthermore, if you did go with something super complex, like, well, I don't know, the, well, maybe like the tower defense or whatever, be, because of how complex it might be to make all the intricate systems to make that work, you might not have the time or it would take you a lot longer to then be able to do all the crazy wacky stuff that you might be able to do better with a simpler idea like this. So, yeah, for now, I'm just going to focus on making the bare bones, ship, enemies, shooting, health, and that's it. We'll start there, and we'll see how long that takes, and we'll go from there. So now, finally, we can go into Unity, um, but I think I'm going to leave this episode off here. Now that all this intro and planning's out of the way, and... At the beginning of the next episode, I can stop rambling and start getting into actually making stuff. So, that'll be end the end of part one. So, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I ha don't have any sort of outro, but uh, I'll see you all next time. Have a great day, and goodbye. <laughs>